Hello, this is Sharon with Rough Road RV Life. We like looking at freedom every day, but guess what we get to look at today? Today we have a professional coming. Yes, we are not going to DIY some things, everything on our RV. We called in some help to get these things done. So today we're going to get our water pump fixed. We are going to have our air conditioner looked at, our, uh, our air conditioner, uh, sometimes it rains in our air conditioner and sometimes our we have a little leak when it rains so he's going to check all these things out for us and uh answer any questions that we may have so here's our rv repairs for today we have a water pump issue and it's it's a very common issue i see it a lot in the forums it's when you are hooked to your your city water to your post water and your fresh water tank keeps filling up Oh, that's a check valve issue and then we also found out that there's a valve inside our RV that also is having an issue so at any rate and we're getting that replaced it's tight it is tight I see how he's having to work on it in those noses. yeah these vents like you guys have them open air comes out of here cools this room down greatly um, some people only have one air conditioner so when they go to bed at night they'll close these so the air shoots out of the vents in the bedroom better and cool keeps them cool bought it we were we bought it at lazy days and they changed the gasket. yeah you see this white line uh-huh that's the gasket and the gaskets that come on these air conditioners are gray the white ones are universal tight gasket fit all air conditioners okay there. that would have been in 2017 when they did that okay when it rains do you know what what where does it come out, it drips out the this vent. corner oh out of the uh, vent itself out of the, out of the, uh, the lever thing i can tell you on that one this one boy honey we need to dust our uh, ceiling a little bit <laughs> look at that uh, yeah, oh my god See, that's what scares me about this. It's like, what can we not see? Well, those boats was... go up about that far into the air conditioner. Okay. I mean, it's not like the whole air conditioner is going to blow off. Yeah. Okay. Look at that. These are very loose. Wow, honey. They're... Can you see how loose they are? Maybe the air conditioner would have blew off. <laughs> Here's a few things we learned today. So if you're thinking about RV life, know this. Bolts are going to come loose. So we learned that the issue with our air conditioner was the bolts, the four bolts that snug it down where the gasket is which has been replaced before by the way those bolts had come loose and needed to be tightened up so that should take care of that problem as suspected sealant needed to be put around those bolts where the awning is being held onto the roof rob explained to us that we needed that in order to do it properly because i had tried to do it and failed <laughs> is you have to take the screw out and then put the sealant on and screw the screw back in. But um, it needed that sealant to stop that leak. What's going on? You don't know why you girls got thrown outside this time of the day? No. This is highly out of... Uh... Uh, yeah, I'm orthodox for you two. Yearly. Yearly in Florida. Eek. Well, we're not in Florida all year though, so there you go. We'll be okay this year. We'll be under a lot of trees. We also learned not to use silicone on the outside of our RV. That's only for inside, and I tried to repair what I thought was the leak area with silicone, which won't work. I also tried to repair some places on the roof with silicone. And so there are a couple of other things you can use. I will put them down um, here and in the notes so that you can see. Dicor um, self-leveling something is one. And I'll put it right here. And so that will um, help our issue. Now we did learn that our roof is in need of resealing and I suspected it was, which is why we asked him to check it. So we're gonna be having that done in a week. So that'll be another repair that we suspected but we you know you always hope and I would rather pay someone for that than to do it myself or ourself so that's going to be done 
So there goes Mr. RV Repair. Rob is our technician. Great guy. Great service. Took care of everything we needed. Answered all our Answered questions. All our questions. Explain them to the detail. Yes. So we know what's going on now and how things are put together. And I have to say, he had opportunity to take advantage if he wanted to, but he was like, no, you don't need this or no, that's okay. Or check yeah. this or check that. That's normal. Don't worry about that. Yeah. Which that was like awesome. Um, so I trust him is what I'm saying. Yes. But um, if you travel any, you know, you're going to need an RV repair now and then mobile RV repair is a way to go. And uh, if you're in the central Florida area, Silver Springs, Salt Springs, uh, Mr. RV repair. I'm not, yeah. I'm not sure their whole territory, but. So what all do we have done today? What were our repairs today? Water pump, check valve, city water check valve, slide check. He, he re, re, uh, recocked the, the awning bolts up here. Yes, yeah, so we have a leak and let me just show you right up there are two bolts that the, uh, what would you call it? The silicone or, now it wasn't silicone, the, the putty had worn yeah. away. And so we were getting a little puddle when we when it rained. Yep. So we did that. Oh, we and tighten up the ACs so that the, it doesn't leak in in a big rain. Right. And he answered a lot of questions we had about ACs, like because we know ours are ten years old, so we we had questions, <laughs> and he was able to help with that. So all in all, it was a oh, good deal. He got up on the roof. And he's coming back to reseal our roof next week. Yeah, he checked our roof, which I, I, I've been watching it. I knew it was due. He did say in Florida, though, it's recommended every year to do that. Too. And you don't have to be here. He just he comes out, does the work. He leaves you the invoice, and you call the office when you get back and pay the bill. Yeah, that's awesome. Very awesome. Uh, he was very patient with all of our questions, questions and requests and concerns, and we appreciate it. So round one of rv stuff done yep uh got our repairs done we still have to do the windshield uh we have an oil change to do and we have the generator to fix so we're still some things on the list but that took care of a lot today so you might be asking yourself well how much did all this cost well i'm going to tell you 90 dollars for the service call to drive here where we are and service our rv the labor costs for about an hour, 1.1 hours, was $100, let's see, $104.50. And so we had two issues with our water, two water issues. One was the city water valve had gone bad, and one the check valve and our water pump had gone bad. So we needed a new one of each. So the water pump was about $140, and the city water connection was about $23. And so when you add all that up and you add the tax to it, the grand total is $381.97. Not bad for what all we had done and the peace of mind knowing that uh, even some of the things that we weren't sure about are most likely okay. The next question that you might have is, how do I know that, how do we know that these you know, this is going to fix our leak. It's going to fix everything. Well, so far, so good. It hasn't rained yet, but I do believe that this company will stand behind their work and what they said was wrong made sense. It made sense. The air conditioners were so very loose that I don't see how we didn't have more water coming into our RV. Also, the up here where the awning connects to the RV, the bolts were sticking out with absolutely no sealant on them at all. I saw that myself when I was up there. And I also saw how cracked and degraded our ceilings, our sealant, uh, the, the sealant was on our roof around like our skylight and our fans and things like that. So yes, I knew that that probably needed to be replaced as well. So time will tell about these things. We will uh, let you know if if we encounter any issues, but I don't anticipate any issues. And um, so we'll have another bill when they get up on that roof and they fix all those uh, sealant issues. So whatever that comes to be, it is what it is. We've got to keep on the road. We want to protect our investment. This is our home. <laughs> so let us know in the comments, do you have any repair, RV repair stories? Or have you experienced any of these issues that we're having? 
or maybe something different or any suggestions that you may have. We always appreciate the comments. And until next time, this is Sharon, Rough Road RV Life. We like looking at freedom. Hope to see you on the road sometime. Safe travels, everyone.